Welcome to the final unit in this class, Ordinary Differential Equations. Ordinary Differential Equations, or ODEs, are the heart and soul of mechanical engineering. You'll encounter them in every upper level class you take. Some classes, like fluid mechanics and vibrations, are based exclusively on ODEs. You might have taken DiffEQ prior to this class. If so, you can use some of the tools you learned to check your answers. If you haven't taken DiffEQ yet, don't worry. The way the math department teaches DiffEQ is drastically different than how we teach DiffEQ. In fact, you don't need to know anything about DiffEQ to succeed in this unit. In the math class, you learn many different ways to solve ODEs by hand, but in this class, we only teach you a couple. Remember, the goal of ME2004 is to give you practical tools you can use in your upper level classes. Therefore, we focus on qualitatively and visually using ODEs to analyze engineering systems instead of learning a bunch of theory. Expect to do a significant amount of plotting in MATLAB and also by hand. If you take the concepts in this unit with you to higher level classes, you'll be able to synthesize much more information and you'll be a better mechanical engineer as a result. Why are we even bothering to learn ODEs? In short, ODEs provide more information about a system. In classes like statics or deforms, you probably computed forces on a beam given a load. That load is assumed to be time invariant. The load's magnitude doesn't change with time. This might be valid if you are designing parts subjected to a static load, such as bridge designers, but mechanical engineers typically design parts which are subjected to time varying loads. Therefore, we need to know the whole picture. We need to know how the part responds not only at a specific instance in time, but how the part responds over all of time. ODEs tell us exactly that, how a system behaves over time. So why do we need ODEs? Why don't we just look directly at the time history? Well, the fundamental laws of engineering are usually based on empirical observation that explain variations in physical properties and states of systems. Rather than describing the state of systems directly, the laws are usually expressed in terms of spatial or temporal changes. Fourier's law, which is q equals negative k times dt dx, describes a temperature change over a distance. This allows us to generalize these fundamental laws so that they can be applied to any engineering problem. Therefore, we naturally end up with differential equations, which we can then integrate to directly compute lower order terms like velocity or position. Here's an overview of how we use ODEs when modeling engineering systems. First, we start by applying all the relevant engineering laws or first principles to our system. Let's say we want to model a bungee jumper. Our physical law is F equals MA. We then draw the free body diagram, collect all the forces, etc., and end up with an ODE. To solve the ODE, we can use analytical or numerical methods. Because this is a numerical methods class, we'll focus on MATLAB implementations of ODE solvers to help us solve our problems. One way we classify ODEs is by order. Order refers to the highest derivative in the ODE. Take a look at the mass spring damper system. M is of course the mass, B is your damper, and K is your spring. This will become a very familiar sight to you in the coming years. We can describe this system with the following ODE. The highest derivative in this equation is the second derivative, d squared x over dt squared term, so the order of this system is 2. In this class, we'll study primarily first and second order ODEs. And finally, sometimes we express ODEs with dot notation. Dot notation is used as a simplification tool. Whenever we have an ODE with time as the independent variable like we do here, we usually replace all the derivatives with dots. So we'd replace d squared x over dt squared with x double dot and dx over dt with x dot. This is a much simpler notation to use, especially if we have a lot of derivative terms in our equation. This doesn't change the order of the system, it's still second order. We're just rewriting it in a form that's easier for us to use. And that's it for this video. In the next videos, we'll draw face portraits and code ODEs in MATLAB. See you soon.